He has reinvented the uh, Attorney General's office, and I have no doubt that if we give him the opportunity, uh, he's going to do the exact same thing in the governor's mansion. So, without further ado, let me introduce the Attorney General of Maryland and the next governor of the great state of Maryland, Doug Gansler. Thank you so much, and thank you all for being here this morning. Beautiful mountain, Maryland. I got the sun beaming on me. I came over the mountains this morning and realized I was in God's country. The air got clean. It was beautiful watching the fog. And um, I'm out here because, uh, as many of you know, I'm always out here. I've been out. I come to Mountain Maryland at least once a month, either Garrett, Allegheny, uh, Washington County. We're obviously up in Frederick a lot, but that's uh, not necessarily all of Western Maryland. So. Um, I think it, I thought it was important to come here to start this beautiful day to announce that I'm running for governor of Maryland, and I want to do it out here in Western Maryland because uh, there's so many of our elected officials from the state that don't realize that this is a uh, part of Maryland. It's a wonderful part of Maryland. It's got incredible potential, and it has an incredible past. And so uh, many of you were just talking uh, uh, to a couple of you about how I come out every year to the Jefferson Jackson dinner in Allegheny County, and obviously I'm there in Washington County. And I actually, before I forget, I want to recognize and thank those of you from labor who are here because um, I come out to the labor dinner every year in Hagerstown as well, and you are the backbone of the party. And in some ways, from the, the policies of these last seven, eight years, labor is, is uh, the group that suffered some of the, the most of the economic policies that we have in Maryland. I was just asked earlier, um, what do I think about the fact that Maryland has the highest per capita income and, and some people say we have the number one schools in, the, in this country here in Maryland, yet that seems to have not necessarily graced uh, Western Maryland. In other words, the immediate income in Maryland right now is 70000 plus, and some of the schools in Maryland are very good. Yet the reality is, in Western Maryland, we've lost so many jobs. Uh, the, the, over the last seven or eight years, there's been 40 consecutive tax increases. There's been a lot of regulation, a lot of our businesses have left, a lot of our people have left because we're not promoting growth, we're not expanding growth. Western Maryland out here, we used to have Kelly Tires, like, who was wearing the Kelly Tire jacket? That Jim, James Ortiz over here is wearing his old school Kelly Tires jacket. That's one of the four or five or six uh, big manufacturing concerns that have left. And we need to bring those back. We need to go to the, the Under Armors, the McCormick Spices and say, you tell us what, what you want to put your plant back out in Western Maryland. We have the footprint. I'm an environmentalist. It's one of my top issues. I get that. But we have the footprint to, pr to bring manufacturing concerns back to Maryland. We just need to want to do it. We need to have the incentives uh, created to do it. We need to ask companies to make their products here in Maryland. Then we need to hire people from Maryland and then buy those products in Maryland. And that will help bring back Western Maryland. There's no be more beautiful town in the country than Cumberland, Maryland. Uh, yet we're, we're letting it die on the vine by not promoting business and not giving back into the economy out here. So uh, I'm out here to talk about uh, running for governor and my vision for the best Maryland, the better Maryland, Maryland pride, the, the, the pride I have in our state. I grew up in Maryland. My family's grown up in Maryland. I've run uh, county, state, and national government organizations for the last 16 years. And, and that's what I want to continue to do. I want to bring a change to the way we look at things and. and in, uh, in, in Maryland as well as in Annapolis. Uh, speaking with, to labor for one minute, you know, the, the uh, past administration uh, and my opponent, they talked about having uh, project labor agreements uh, way back in seven years ago, and they finally have a project labor suggestion at the time when there's an election coming up. But we, we really need to support labor. If we had just 2% of all our projects were, were uh, state projects for project labor agreements, we would have no unemployment for organized labor. So we need to actually care about labor, we need to care about business. They do go hand in hand, as well as our economy and as well as Western Maryland. So with that, um, what I'd like to do is ask you to consider supporting me as we go forward. I'd like you to take a look and see who is the most genuine candidate, who is the most authentic candidate, who is the most passionate. Please look at our records. I'm actually running on my own record, not somebody else's record and our vision for the state of Maryland in the future. Um, with that, I'd like to, I know this is sort of breaks tradition and, and these kind of things, but I wouldn't mind taking a question or two if you have one. And I'll obviously hang out uh, all day. I'm gonna take a look at the station here afterward. But if anybody has a question or two, and, uh, or, or if, you wanna have, if you have any personal concerns, we talk about that afterward. 
But if you have a question or two, I'd love to take them.